Pokemon Legends Z2A will take fans back to the Kalos region, something they've been asking for since we got robbed of Pokemon Z. But to be fair, we did get a very nice pair of remakes instead. There's only one caveat though. This new game that's coming out in 2025 will happen entirely inside of Lumio City, and that does take away some of the wonder of the Gen 6 region. So hey, I'm not so a strainer, and what will be missing from Pokemon Legends Z2A? Let's get into it. This video won't be about how limiting it will be to just explore one city and nothing more. I'm sure it will feel like a true adventure anyway, and like I talked about in this video right here that you should absolutely check out, of course, I think they've been showing us various ways that they can make confined areas feel more alive. This video is instead about things we know exist, but sadly won't be able to revisit. While I believe that just being inside Lumio City will be more than fine and give us various secrets that we didn't even know existed about the Kalos region, it's undeniable that the game we dreamed for it was really just limiting us to one big city. For example, by staying there, we won't be able to visit the Parfum Palace. This palace was built by the King of Kalos, not AZ, after a war 300 years ago, with Pokemon Legend Z2A likely happening around 150-200 years ago in the past, it would be interesting to see how the Parfum Palace is at that point in time. There's a whole bunch of references to Unova that were never truly explained, and that included statues of Reshiram and Zekrom in its prized garden. With Unova also having a royalty-related past with the Twin Brothers storyline, there's always a chance that the descendants from them came to Kalos or that the war itself was against Unova. Sadly, this won't be something we see or visit, although we might hear about it. After all, a game in Kalos will likely make references to events and locations in the region. For example, if we go into the mines or the underground of Lumio City, I do expect to see some references to the various caves of the Kalos region, despite us not being able to visit them. Places like the Glittering Cave and the Reflection Cave are strange locations that have distinct characteristics that could be used to differentiate between different areas of the underground. The Terminus Cave is another one I expect to be mentioned, since it is where Zygarde resided in Kalos. This last one and the Glittering Cave were also presented to us as mines, and I really do believe that mines will be the big focus of the lower part of Lumio City. Still, we won't be able to explore them, just like we won't be able to explore Victory Road, a place that has so many ruins along its path that make me question, what was there before, especially with the Pokemon League building looking like that and having all those statues? but I do expect, again, to hear about them. But one location that I'm almost certain will be mentioned, but that we won't be able to visit, is of course the Tower of Mastery. This place is one of the most important places for the Mega Evolution lore, especially in modern day. It is where Karina's grandfather continues the long-running tradition of passing down the knowledge about this mysterious mechanic. It even has a statue of Mega Lucario, who legends say was the first Mega Evolution, something that some dragon-loving people from Hoenn might try to dispute. It would be very interesting to see how Mega Evolution was being studied right there back in the day, and that's exactly the reason why I know it will be mentioned. Mega Evolution is in the game, that part is confirmed, and so it will very likely play a key role in the plot of the game. But since we're on the topic of Mega Evolution, we have to talk about Anistar City and the Sundial. The crystalline structure and maybe even the dial itself are clearly connected to Mega Evolution in a way that we have still not truly understood. It's here that after we beat the game, Professor Sycamore uses it to upgrade our Mega Ring and make it possible for us to find stones. When the light of the sun shines through the hole in the crystal, sparkling flakes start falling like snow over the town and the ring starts spinning, marking the only time when these stones are actually visible. We were never told why this is the case. For a while, there were theories about its connection to Diancy, likely based on the similar colors. I know, I know, not very good evidence. But nothing came of it. It will be interesting to see if something is explained about this strange structure, even though we'll almost surely not visit it ourselves. There are many other, smaller locations that we won't be able to visit. Places like Lever City with its very old tree, maybe the beginnings of the Pokeball Factory, maybe even the Lost Hotel where we can catch Rotom, a place that was supposed to be in a lot better condition before a tragedy happened. But no other place would be as sad to miss as the whole area around the Ultimate Weapon. While I'm not ready to say that we won't see the Ultimate Weapon in Pokemon Legends Z2A yet, it is the strongest possibility, considering it has been hidden there for a long time and until the modern day. 
Geo's Edge Town is outside the limits of Lumio City and so is Route 10, the route with all the dolmens that serve as gravestones of energy for the sacrificed Pokémon in the war, 3000 years in the past. It's crazy to think that the area where the Pokémon X and Y climax happened will not be part of the revisit to the Kalos region, but with Mega Evolution present, there is no doubt in my mind that not only will this overall area be mentioned in Pokémon Legends E2A, but also that the war 3000 years in the past will have some of its mysteries solved. But not all of them, because if there's something that Pokémon Legends Arceus showed us, is that these Legends games might end up creating more questions than the answers they give. And that is all I have for you today, important locations that we won't see in Pokemon Legends Z2A. But what about you? Which one will you miss the most? Let me know in the comments down below. And now like the video if you like it, dislike if you don't and don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more Pokemon content and also ring the bell so you know when the next video is out. Also you can become a channel member or check out my merch in order to further support the channel, I'd be forever thankful for that. You can follow me on social media or check out one of my streams here and on Twitch, all the links are in the description. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you all on the next one.